Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this brand new series where we're going to talk about mixed and blast set as well as a proper setup of familiars and heroes on your wall. So this first video is going to be mixed set, so it's going to be about defense. First of all guys, I'm mostly going to talk about level 60 piece of gear. This is for free to play players, so as far as champion, we're going to mention champion in one scenario. Um, the reason why it's level 60 is because the best equipment at level 60, there's very few exceptions. We're going to talk about those. But the other thing is you're going to be spending about four to eight months uh, before level 60. And then you're going to spend years being level 60. So you want to work on the best piece of gear and not waste your rares. So we're going to go slot by slot. Your uh, mix set is going to look a little bit something like this, but I'm going to talk about the very uh, variation that we observe. So first of all, let's go in the cabinet and let's look at the, we're going to look at the main end first. So really guys, free to play, there's really two options. There's the Frostwing Greysword and then the, there's the Skull Crusher. Anything else uh, at level 60 is either a blast piece of gear or it's not level 60 and it's not as good for, um, for a mixed set. Now, as far as the order, Skull Crusher is better than the Frostwing. In fact, Skull Crusher at gold is kind of equal to a mythic uh, Frostwing Greatsword. Slightly better, I believe, last time I checked. Uh, so any of those pieces can be good. And in fact, any of those pieces is a legit piece in your mix set, but the Skull Crusher is better. My suggestion, level up the Frostwing Greatsword to gold and then um, just save your uh, uh, Blazing Embers for a Mythic Skull Crusher for the future if you get there. Second, we're gonna talk about the Elmets. So the Elmets, same thing, there's really two options. There's the Beast Elm and then there's the Bumble Elm. The Coronet is a blast piece of gear and we're like I said, we're not gonna talk about Champion and anything else is not worth mentioning. I'm just gonna scroll down to see, oh, well there's, okay, there's the Sem Serpent Elm from the um, Serpent Gladiator, but it is so hard to level up for free to play that I really am not gonna talk about this one. Even though it's a little bit easier nowadays that we can get some of those rare in Bargain Store, for instance. Now, I would suggest that you guys focus on either one of the Bumble Elm and Beast Elm. The Bumble Elm is slightly better than the Beast Elm. Now the thing is, a lot of people will uh, go for the Bumble Elm for that reason, and then they're gonna save their rares uh, for their travel speed set because usually free to play players we are fillers so we want the travel speed uh, and the, um, the blood suckers uh, for some of those beasts it's pretty nice for the travel speed let's move over to the armor all right terror shield is a blast piece of gear so you should not look at that there's only real there's only really one option it's the firewall plate uh, aside from that uh, obviously champion is really good but uh, this is not the, the piece of gear that I would suggest that you guys focus as far as champion. You're free to play. There's only one piece that you want to do, and I will suggest this a little bit later on. If really need nothing else, uh, please don't make the mistake of doing any of the level 55. It's just going to... This, this is going to mean that your best piece of gear, the Bumble Elm or the Cups, are going to be under level. Is there anything else that I cannot level up? There's really nothing else also on the on the armor. So really there's one option, it's the firewall plate. There's really no other option. The boots. This is where I'm going to talk about champion. So really, uh, Gargantuan Belt is blast, so we're not gonna talk about that, but really, aside from champion, Dragon's Talon and Storm Asset are uh, the good options, the really only options that you should be doing. The Storm Asset is just a little bit better than the Dragon Stalin when you come uh, when you combine all the stats together and you convert the defense. Uh, but the thing you're gonna notice is that the Champion is way better. It is really way better, and it's in fact the easiest one to uh, build with only five rares. Uh, it is that much better that even a grade lower. So what's a grade lower? So for instance, if you have these at Mythic. A gold champion stride, for instance, would be better. Now, uh, my suggestion, and I, I, I will get back to my suggestion, but uh, one good piece of gear to make for free to play would be the range one. And it really depends on what you do on other pieces of gear that we're going to talk a little bit later. 
The Blizzard Pen is also really good. It's top tier, uh, but the thing is, sure it's top tier. Is it better than the Tacit? Uh, I think it's about the same. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit better than Tacit, or slightly. It's 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 really close. The thing is, it's really really hard to level up. Uh, from the Arctic Flipper. So I would not suggest going for the Blizzard Pants. Is there anything else that I cannot forge <laughs> down below? No, there's nothing else. All right, but that would be the that would be the place where I would suggest to go with Champion. Uh, like I said, uh, even a blue Champion is better than purple uh, Tassets or Dragon Stallion. All right, let's go with the Often next. We're going to talk about the accessory last. The Often, really, there's really three options. I know some people will build the um, the champion often because it's only six rares. I do that for the troop training speed. Um, I'm not a big fan of what the champion provides. It's a lot of attack, but really the winter mitts is top tier here because of the HP. It provides a lot of defense. I know people don't like defense, but defense still has some value. My personal ratio is about one to 10. So basically 10% defense in my book equals about 1% attack. Really, some people will have different ratio, but this is my personal one. So the order would be uh, Winter Mitz first, the Codex would be second, and I would not talk about Champion. In that case, there are some really good pieces of gear. The Spirit Axe is pretty good. It's really good, but it's really, really hard to level up uh, because you need a lot of rares and it's come from a monster that's really hard to get. Uh, the other one that people build here would be the Dragon's Fist. The Dragon Dragon's Fist is really good. It's a, a really good piece of gear, but if you're going to do that, you're, it's going to cost you some uh, Blackwing Eyes, Glowing Eyes. That means your Dragon Stallion is going to be under level. Now, what's the order? Like I said, at the same grade, uh, Winter Mitz is best, Codex is second, second, and then the Dragon's Fist would be third. But if the Dragon's Fist is one grade above, so that means that if you compare a Mythic Dragon's Fist to a Gold uh, Winter Mitz, the Dragon's Fist wins. So it's, it's in fact, it's uh, the Dragon's Fist is probably really, really close to the Codex, in fact, as far as the total stats. Um, once again, if you decide to go with the Dragon's Fist, that is where my suggestion would be to, uh, because you're not going to build a Dragon's Talent, my suggestion is build uh, range Champion Boots, uh, because um, the, the Dragon's Talents are really good for range also. Um, in fact, it's really, it's really what you should have in your Blast set, but if you're building the Dragon's Fist, uh, that means your dragon stallion is going to be on their level, so that my suggestion would be to go with the uh, range champion boots. I believe they all provide the same, uh, even the stride. I know a lot of people, most people do the stride for the infantry, I believe, but otherwise it's all the same stats. Um, and lastly, we're going to go with the infantry. Now, the accessory, sorry. The accessory, there's a lot of options. Uh, what are the orders? The cups are the best ones. Uh, the second one would be, I believe, the Polar Ring, uh, are, or are they the same? I think they're the same. Yeah, they're the same. The difference is that the cups are a lot easier to get with Bargain Store, with Tycoon. So even though you get uh, the same stats, uh, the Polar Ring, I would suggest to not have high hopes for that, but it's the second best one. Uh, I think that the third one would be the Book of the Dead, as far as total stats. Um, and then the fourth one would be uh, the Blight Ring. And then the fifth one would be where we have another exception that is not level 60, and that would be the Burning Scroll. So the Burning Scroll, uh, you use the same rares as the Skull Crusher. So a lot of people, what they will do is they will build, let's say, one Cup, one Blight Ring, and then they will build a um, Burning Scroll. This is not a bad uh, suggestion to do that. So you build a burning scroll. My suggestion is keep it at gold and save your blazing embers and then start working on your skull crusher. Um, but another option, guys, is because one, one thing you're going to notice is uh, so the cup, one ring, one cup, it's going to be somewhat easy to level up to purple and gold. Uh, another option is, uh, in fact, the Book of the Dead is a lot easier to 
forged in the polar ring because you can get rares from the book of the dead uh, you can get them from um the monstrous crate which comes from the uh exchange extravaganza rewards so you should be able to get like a blue book of the dead which uh i don't think that's what i did on this account yeah that's not what i did uh but it's a good option uh so you could have like a gold cup a gold ring and a blue close to purple book of the dead and then later on, um, by the time you get your cup to mythic and your ring to mythic, your book of the dead is going to be pretty high level. So it is a good option. Uh, the last thing you want to do is please don't don't go for the warm seal. Um, there's better option, like I said. Don't go for the dragons. I mean, if you're going for the dragons iris because you went for the dragons fist and you're not going to go for the dragons talent, it's a good option also. Terror Vial is not something I would suggest. It's definitely some bad stats in this piece of gear. Same thing, Fear Drum is actually, I think, the worst. Uh, is it the worst? Yes. Fear Drum is actually the worst you can get. Lots of people put those because they don't have lots of uh, cav attack from the other piece of gear. It's, it's a bad idea. It's the worst stat that you can get. 16 uh, attack, 5.5% uh, HP, and you get this. You get uh, about the same HP, but you get... Uh, you get army defense, which, like I said, provides some uh, converted stats. Uh, the worm seal would be better than all of them, but still, it's not optimal. So basically, uh, if we look at my mix set, guys, uh, anything that looks like something like this, uh, Frostwing would still be good. The uh, Beast M would still be good. Uh, there's nothing here that I would suggest otherwise. The Storm Tasset, in fact, I should have the Storm Tasset, but since I'm very close to gold on my talents i don't want to uh another option would be the codex but since my winter mitts are like two grades above they're definitely better i've not built the uh dragon's fist on this account uh and then here uh there's really on my account there's nothing really i could swap i definitely don't want to use the fear drum here uh, but like i said if you have a polar ring that's kind of leveled up a book of the dead or a burning scroll that's a good option so once again I go with my mix this is what it looks like any variance of what I showed you guys is legit anything else uh, if you have built this this is not a good piece of gear don't use this in your mix set don't build this don't use this please 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 uh, what else uh, don't use this in your mix set don't use any of those level 40 they're really really bad guys uh, uh, level 40 like this at uh, this at green is like about equal to this at gold and I think even better so gives you a pretty good idea um, don't use the gargantua belt in your mix set like it's I'm just repeating it because I see this mistake happen so much. Now, as far as on your wall, we're going to finish with that. On your wall, uh, basically, there are a couple things you want to do. So, first of all, guys, there's like four free-to-play heroes, four free-to-play army heroes that if you have them at gold with rank 7, and by the way, when I say rank 7, I mean at least like uh, I got them at rank 8. And the reason is that all those stats are being unlocked at rank 7 so i'm sure everyone that's watching this that have those heroes to gold have them rank 7 so basically there's four army heroes so there's bombing goblin rose knight those two are really easy to get watcher and chaos dragon are a lot harder to get so uh watcher and chaos dragon you can get from l event and chaos dragon also you can get from uh 24 hour challenge, which I'm not sure if today uh, we have that option. I don't think so. Oh, yes, we do. We do. It's research. So there's three medals if you complete the challenge. Um, very hard to get. The Chaos Dragon takes a long time. A Watcher is a lot more manageable. Now, as far as the order, uh, the Watcher is the best one. Chaos Dragon is second. Um, Rose Knight would be third. And Bombing Island would be fourth. So. Um, Obviously, most most of the free to play players' experience will have those three of them, and um, most players will have these two. So, Rose Knight should always be in your wall. Bombing Island should always be in your wall. If you have Watcher, Gold and level and rank seven at least should be on your wall. If it's purple, please put something else because the the stats are not as good, and the tactics, the hero tactics, this thing here, the Forest Wind, the 200% squad attack, uh, it's 
there's a huge jump from purple to gold and it's significant guys don't forget that this is a huge portion of the damage that you do uh, so like I said the order would be once again uh, watcher the best uh, chaos dragon second and as far as the normal ones rose knight and bombing element so if you have those four my suggestion is uh, so the reasoning of why I have two range heroes and two cav heroes and I only have one infantry heroes is the reasoning is that people rarely will blast you with the range blast uh, so I will rarely have a need to have more than one inf hero on my wall or my inf will rarely be uh, my front line now if we're talking about mix attack it's kind of different so there's there's some good good arguments but in my case what is the fourth hero so there so basically you want to have two heroes two heroes and one hero so please don't have unless you know what's coming and you have plenty of time to swap your heroes if you don't know what's coming and you don't have a lot of time uh, make sure you have like a, ver a varied combination of heroes so two two and one is a good one uh, but the, the last one you want to have make sure that it provides attack and HP not one of them both of them so there are several heroes that do, that do that uh, Demon Slayer is one of them 30% attack 50% HP this is an infantry hero Oathkeeper is basically the same thing for 30% attack 50% uh, HP really uh, there's trap attack but you should not have any traps <laughs> uh, as far as range there's only Snow Queen that provides that uh, this is the hero that I chose uh, like I said, I only have one infantry and then Child of Light would be the other one. 30% attack, 50% HP. The rest, they're not as good. So those are, uh, so those should be the hero. So if you don't have Chaos Dragon, well, my suggestion is simply swap Chaos Dragon for Child of Light. And if you don't have Watcher, well, I cannot remove the leader. But if I cannot, let's say I didn't have Watcher, Rose Knight would be my leader. And I would put, I would remove, and I would have either Demon Slayer or Hold Keeper. These are the same stats. Don't really care what's on, who's on my wall. They do the same thing as far as the squad attack, 200%. Really doesn't matter. And the trap attack does not really matter. So that that is what I would have on my wall, a combination like that. I will put back my... Um, my Chaos Dragon. Now, if you don't have these two on your wall, I don't think you're ready to take any attacks. But still, it it would be the same reason. If you don't have these, make sure that you have the heroes that provides attack and HP, a combination of both uh, on your wall. Now, as far as the familiars, familiars really the first two that you want to put on your wall are these two, um, Quiris and Evil Weevil. So the reason why you want them is because they're going to work 100% of the time. So 100% of the time, your your army HP is going to be increased by 15. So that means every troop time is going to be increased. And Aquarius is doing the same thing to the enemy. Uh, so a lot of people I notice they do this. Um, they, 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 they do something like this. They will put like one of the smaller uh, familiar. It's not bad, but it only works when there's cavalry. So obviously, if they're sending a range blast, there's not. This is not gonna do anything for you. If they're sending an infantry blast, same thing. It's not gonna do anything for you. So really, it works about a third of the time. So what's a third of 40%? It's around 13%. So uh, the reasoning is this works 100% of the time. So that's 15% compared to 13%. This is why I prefer these guys. And not only are they good on your wall, they're also good when you start your blast. And we're going to talk about that on your blast. You're going to remove them later for your blast. But they should be on your wall for a long, long time. You should not be using some of the stacking heroes because really they proc at 10%. If you're taking 10%, if they proc because you're taking 10%, maybe you don't have enough troops. So, And if you have a huge amount of troops like I do, which is not that huge, but really if I take one rally and I lose 10% of my troop, then it's a it's 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 bad for me. So uh, and if and if I do take 10%, it's only going to happen at the end of the battle. So this will not really help me. And it's it's not 10%. Well, it's 10% of my infantry troops. So that's why you don't, you don't want. Uh, let's say for instance this because 10% of all my troops, that's really bad. Now if I know what's coming, let's say they're coming with an inf blast, and I want to put my I have enough time to rearrange my heroes, rearrange my familiars. 
And yes, I would put this on my front line. So 10% of my cav troops have fallen. So in that case, I have a third of my troops that are cav. So I would have like 10 million. And as soon as I got 1 million losses, this will proc. That would definitely work, but you need to have the time and you need, um, and if they're speeding up, you may not have the time. So my suggestion is put Evil Weevil and Aquarius permanently on your wall. Now, personally, I like this guy at 15% because Basically, my range unit are going to work 100% of the time. If I have my wall up, they're still going to attack. So this is a good one to have. Uh, later on, I will maybe put something like this. But the thing is, once again, it's 5%. It's these. There's two other, like for infantry and uh, cav. These are not that bad. But the thing is, they're only going to work probably like, well, 5%. Mm, with the pack five uh, attack, they may they may proc. So, uh, but it's they're not it, they're not going to be useful 100% of the battle and 100% of the time. Um, later on, if you are able to unlock pack five, the I suggest going with the um, with the four percent one. So there's like two types of pack five there's black wing bon appetit and gargantua in a group there's a ue up frost wing and queen bee in another group so black wing what i mean is it procs at four percent of your total troops so with for me at 30 million troops that means at 1.2 million troops they're gonna work now it's gonna take a long time so not only do you need the runes you need the orbs and getting this to level 10 is gonna it's it takes a long long time but still um 60 percent level one level two level three I, I would still put it on my wall if i had unlock it, unlock this guy but right now <laughs> this is not for today this is not for it's gonna it's gonna take a long time for me so it should, should always also take a long time for you if you are rushing these guys free to play uh what it means is that you're gonna Yes, you're going to get them faster, but that means that the rest of your account, like your research and your gear, uh, they're going to be underdeveloped because that means you're going to be doing Tycoon uh, and, and basically not saving your gems for bargain store, for instance. So, guys, this is my suggestion for you. Um, like I said, there is a certain order. Um, and then these guys, these familiar, we're going to talk about them when we talk about the blast stages the blast uh the blast setup for uh, for your free-to-play account but i believe that they should always be on your wall as a free-to-play player all right guys let me know what you think about this analysis hit the like button subscribe if you're not and i'll see you later